Hi there friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm here with the Amazfit Bip 6 and in today's video we're gonna have a little tutorial because you asked for it. It's gonna be a little weird, I don't have much time, I almost go to work, but I want to show you what the steps you need to do in order to be able to answer your notifications when you have your Bip 6 connected to an iOS device. As you see, you will be able to use the keyboard you can answer by voice, it's very good. Send emojis, or you can use the AI assistant or quick responses. That will be up to you. Let's send some emojis. You can send as many as you want. There we go, here we have it already. So if you're interested, I invite you to stay tuned. And very important that this method not work only with the BIP6. It could be another Amazfit device. If you have one, I will suggest you to try it. It might work for you. But in this video, we will be using the new Bip 6 To start with, make sure you have everything connected already. Let's go right here on App Market and make sure that you download SetFlow app. I already have it installed. Come over here on Settings. And it's very important that you have this feature available on your device. E experimental features. If you have it, you're ready to go. Let's get started with this process. All right, to start with guys, you will need a PC, Mac, it doesn't matter. But this is the way I configure it. So all you have to do is follow the step. Like I said, it doesn't matter what kind of device do you have. But I'm gonna do it on this Windows PC. All you have to do is go to the search bar, type Beeper Download. Let's look for it. This one right here, download Beeper on Android, iPhone or desktop. And it will show you all of the options right here. Depend what kind of device do you have, that's the one you need to download. In my case, it is a Windows device. So I'm gonna click right here and over here, as you see, it's already downloaded. Well, this is the second time I will do it, but you can see the process right there. Once it's finished, all you have to do is install it in your MacBook, PC, whatever you're using. In my case, I go to download and it will be right here. You double click, wait for the installation, give the permission that will ask you and all right, here we have it already installed it. So right here, what we're going to do is uh, you're going to type your email and after you type it, just hit next. Now it will send a six digit code to your email address that you will have to type right here. I received them real quick. Those are the numbers they sent me. You type them and after you see it give you the next blue option, click right there. And now it will ask you to enter a username. That will be up to you. I'm gonna choose this one right here, hit next. Wait for a few seconds. Now, very important, this uh, recovery code right here, I will recommend you take a picture, save it on your email, because anytime you want to access, it will ask you for it. In my case, I'm gonna copy right here, then we're gonna paste it right here, and let's hit confirm. All right, now it will open you this uh, page right here, where it says connect network. In our case, it will be WhatsApp, it will load a QR code right here that you will have to go to your iPhone and, and access to your WhatsApp account, link device and scan it. So real quick, let's go to WhatsApp, make sure you hit settings and then link device. Then this other option right here, link device again. It will open the camera. All you have to do is scan the QR code and it will load your conversations. See, right now it's already finished. If you want to link another network, just click on it. It could be Facebook, Messenger, Telegram, etc. In our case, we're going to leave it like that, just with WhatsApp. Let's hit continue. And as you see, we have all the conversations right here. Later on, you can add the different accounts right here. I repeat, we're gonna leave it just with WhatsApp for this example. It tell you right here, don't forget to take your chat with you on your iPhone or Android. And now let's go to the last step on our computer. Make sure you type that link. Once you do that, I'm gonna leave it down in the description below also. It will take you right here. Welcome to Element. Right here, all you have to do, well, you can choose a different language if you need to, but right here, we click sign in and we will come on edit, touch on it, 
And right here where it says other home server, we're going to type this server right here, matrix.beeper.com. Let's hit continue. And it will show you this page to type your username and password right here. Don't worry about it. All you have to do is forget password and type the same email that you use to open your Beeper account. Once you do that, you hit send email. I already receive it right here. Now we hit next and it will give you the option to type a new password, confirm it. We already done typing our new password. Make sure you won't forget it or save it, then reset password. It will send you an email to confirm as you. Once you confirm it, you can return to login. Okay, perfect. Now we already reset our password. What's the next step? Well, we had to come over here to zip up. Let's go to apps, mine, set flow, settings, and we will go down here, experimental features with touch and try now. Here it show you the link to download Beeper. We're going to hit next. It give you the instructions, hit next. Next, we already done all these steps. And right here, you will need your username and password. What username you need is the one that ends that with beeper.com. Where are you going to find that? Well, let me show you real quick. You open the Beeper app you just download on your laptop, desktop. You come over here on settings, click on it right here. You see it says uh, that I already have two accounts. We will click on it. It will show you the two accounts. Sorry that I'm doing it like this, but I don't want to be editing all this on uh, the software. I almost had to go to work. I don't have time, but it will be the first option that you see right there. This one right here, you touch and all the way on top, it will show you your Beeper username. It will show you your email on the bottom. Not that one. You need the one that end that with beeper.com and the password that you just reset it. Once you type it on your iPhone, let's hit sign in. All right, now it will tell you open Beeper on desktop. And right here, make sure you come over here. Look right here, my finger on the left corner all the way down and make sure you hit accept. If you hit decline, it won't work. So make sure you hit accept. And now it will give you a QR code that, that as you see, the camera will open automatically. You scan it. It is syncing and now it's all set up. As you see, it will show you the WhatsApp with the check mark on green because we already linked that account. At this point, we're ready to go. Let's so like I was saying, at this point, we should be ready to go. Let's send a message through WhatsApp. And definitely, as you see, it will show you all of the options to answer your messages. Uh, you can use the keyboard. Let's go again. You can uh, send a message using your voice. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to support the channel hitting the like button. You see, it's very quick. Here we have it already. One more time. Now, as you see, you can send emojis as many as you want. <laughs> there we have it. So I'm going to leave this video right here, tech friends. I know it's a little weird, but I almost go to work and I don't want to be blurring all of those things. It will take me a lot of time to edit it. So I did it like that, raw. But I hope that this helped you to many of you. Like I said, it doesn't only work with the Beep 6. It works with some other Amazfit devices. You should try. Oh, by the way, I already saw this one for $75. Believe me, for that price, it is an incredible option. I'm so happy with it. I'm using it as my personal watch. And I bought another one for my brother, and he's so happy with it too. So I hope this method works for you guys. Sorry, I know it's a weird video, but I almost go to work. so And I really wanted to upload it for you guys that need uh, to answer your notifications straight from your uh, Beep 6 and you're connected to an iPhone device. But in case you are not sure, before you do all the process, if you come over here, experimental features, it will give you step by step. Right now, not because I already have everything connected, but 
I hope the video helped you to get all the process done. With that being said, please take care and I'll see you in the next one.